Blue Ridge attracts a unique individual, somebody who has a lot of gifts or has a lot of potential and they need to be in an environment where that can really be nurtured. And the first day driving up Blue Ridge and you see the Blue Ridge Mountains in the, in the background, you, you see the little pond on your right, the wood fence you're driving and it, it's such a picturesque setting but you're also in your gut, you're shaking, you're really nervous. But looking back on it now, it was um, very influential on me. I think I'm, I'm an eccentric person a little bit, and that, of course, seeps into my art. And especially as a photographer, I don't really think of myself as a photographer. I just use the camera as a tool, uh, as a means to capture something as an artist. I'm big on editing, and I'm big on using other materials, painting, charcoal, etching things like that. So I really think of myself as a really good editor and creating something with all these different elements in the cutting room floor at the end. Going to art classes at Blue Ridge and such kind of like an isolated environment, an all boys school, very small classes, allowed me to not be as distracted as I would um, in, a, in a regular environment or a regular school. And so I think it, it enabled me to get in touch with some artistic sensibilities that I wouldn't have been able to tap into. I mean, even at the subconscious level, I think it really made me realize that, that art can be important and it's okay to, to express yourself and, and just enjoy it. But most people go directly for the object, but that only tells part of the story. The more story you can tell, the more interesting it'll be. New York City for me is just the mecca, it's the melting pot of the world, right? The energy, just, it's so eclectic, there's so much going on. It's all there for you. All you have to do is capture it. Um, I'm not really the creator, I'm one that's capturing what's in front of me. And then later on on the cutting room floor, then I become the artist, but in the moment when I'm in New York City, I'm just, just a guy, an anonymous guy with a camera, I'm a tourist. I just go out and, and I have to do it in order to to feel satisfied, to feel balanced. <laughs>